guys welcome to a guru channel so in this video we are going to discuss about uh, corona effect in a transmission line so before going to the video please watch the content of other videos if you like the content do subscribe the channel corona effect in a uh, transmission lines so let's see some of the images of a transmission line which affects the corona so here we can see uh, an insulator which is affected by the corona uh, we can observe the violet to glow around the insulator similarly so we can see around the conductor we can observe the violet glow uh, so this is called it as the corona effect so here we can see the insulator is affected by the corona and here also an insulator is affected by the corona so this image is a uh, experiment regarding the corona effect so in all these images we can observe the common thing is violet, violet glow around the insulator or around the conductor so now we will see the corona effect in detail so first we will see the definition of a corona effect so the corona effect is nothing but it is the phenomenon of ionization of surrounding air around the conductor due to which luminous glow with hissing noise in rise is known as the corona effect nothing but so the ionization of surrounding air around the conductor that we can call it as the corona effect that is the main reason so because of that uh, we can observe the luminous violet glow around the conductor with hissing noise so now we will see in detail how the corona will be formed so here if you see a transmission lines uh, the transmission uh, line can be drawn like this it is having a tower and supported by the conductors are supported by the insulators so here uh, for easy of explanation I am drawing only two conductors nothing but so one is uh, two phase conductors one is or another one is Y so if you observe here one conductor is nothing but this is or conductor so that is uh, supported by an insulator similarly another conductor so that we can call it as the B conductor so that is supported by another insulator and so this is the tower so this tower is grounded nothing but the potential of this tower is 0 volts and the potential of the supporting arm is 0 volts the potential of the insulator is at 0 volts so but the transmission line is uh, uh, generally the transmission line voltage uh, will be greater than 220 kV in order to reduce the transmission lines so here if you observe uh, the medium between the a between the two conductors and uh, the medium between the conductors and the supporting tower is air so this air will act as a dielectric medium between the two conductors so this uh, air is having the uh, dielectric strength of 30 kV per centimeters so if the voltage is greater than this dielectric strength then the the conductor will starts conducting sorry the air will starts conducting so that we will see here so if the voltage is greater than the dielectric strength of the air whatever the free particles nothing but free electrons around the conductor will be attracted by the field intensity of this conductor so because now this field intensity is greater which can attract the all the free electrons in the air and uh, these uh, free electrons can travel from one conductor to another conductor nothing but so if the voltage is greater than the dielectric strength of the air the breakdown of air occurs so then so we can see some luminous glow between the two conductors that we will call it as the corona effect similarly the dielectric medium between the conductor and the supporting insulator is also air so if the voltage is greater than the dielectric strength of the air so this discharge can also happens with the insulator so with the supporting structure so likewise the uh, corona will be formed so see, here we can see the simple thing is air will act as the dielectric medium between the conductors and between the conductor and the ground if the transmission voltage is greater than the so this uh, tra transmission voltage is increasing um, if the electric field intensity of the conductor is greater than the dielectric strength of the air the air starts conducting so depending upon the strength of the electric field intensity the dielectric medium between the two conductors can break or the dielectric medium between the conductor and the insulator can break so then 
that breakdown will affects in the form of the violet glow so but what about the heat issuing noise so whatever the current whatever discharge is happening happening so thus discharge current is having the frequency in the of in the range of megahertz so because of this frequency we can hear the hissing noise and the another disadvantage of this uh, discharge current uh, frequency so this is the frequency of the our tv lines and uh, radio lines so because of this high frequency high frequency discharge current so the interference uh, between the power lines and the tv and radio telecommunication lines can be happened so that is the one of the disadvantage another disadvantage disadvantage this breakdown Uh, can be um, can be dissipated in the form of power so this corona loss uh, will decrease the efficiency of the transmission line so like this uh, uh, the corona will be formed in a transmission lines if you see what are the factors uh, affecting the corona so that uh, we can uh, we can understand by using this uh, corona loss formula this is the formula of the corona loss so here the corona loss is nothing is, is equal to 244 by delta so delta is the uh, air density factor and uh, the f is the frequency of the uh, transmitting voltage or tra uh, transmitting uh, current so here r is the radius of the conductor d is distance between the conductors and the this is the transmission voltage and this one is the critical receptive voltage so now we will see uh, which factors will affect the corona so what are the parameters in this formula so that will affect the corona so here we can see uh, the main uh, factor which affects the corona is the the phase phase voltage of a conductor in kv if this phase voltage is greater than the critical receptive voltage so then the corona will starts so likewise we can uh, uh, define the critical uh, receptive voltage it is the voltage of a transmission line at which the corona starts the phenomenon of corona starts that is called as the critical receptive voltage so likewise if the voltage is increasing the corona loss is increasing so our corona loss is directly proportional to the the phase voltage and i think but the difference between the phase voltage and the critical receptive voltage because if the phase voltage is greater than the our uh, critical receptive voltage then only the corona loss will be happen and the uh, another factor which affects the corona loss is the corona loss is directly proportional to the frequency if the frequency is more then uh, there will be more field intensity uh, and also this corona loss is directly proportional to the um, to distance between the con sorry inversely proportional to the distance between the conductors if the distance is less then uh, there is a, a breakdown will occur for a less field intensity similarly the corona loss is a, Uh, direct inversely proportional to the air density factor if the air density is low then the corona loss is high nothing but we can uh, see like this in hilly areas the corona loss will occurs more than the uh, normal uh, cloudy areas in hilly areas the air density factor is less the corona loss is more so likewise uh, these are the factors which affects the corona by controlling these factors we can control the corona so let's see some of the disadvantages of corona so these are related to the uh, how uh, the corona will be formed so uh, if the corona is formed uh, the glow will appear so this glow which shows the power loss occurred in a transmission line so because of the the charging current uh, you know, frequency which is in megahertz the audio noise occurs because of the corona effect which causes the power loss on the conductor so because of that high frequency the vibration of the conductor occurs the corona effect generates the ozone uh, that violet glow because of the violet glow ozone gas will uh, release us uh, this will uh, uh, corrodes the conductors so like that uh, this corona effect uh, uh, because of the corona effect the conductor becomes corrosive the corona power loss reduces the efficiency of a transmission line and the last but not the least the radio and tv interference occurs on the lines because of this corona effect so this is how the corona effect will be formed and uh, the factors affecting the corona and the disadvantage of the disadvantage of the corona effect thank you thank you guys